business and real estate. The first one was on the simplification of business activities and decentralization. The functions were transferred to local authorities, notaries. The second reform was uh, on uh, enhancing the uh, standards of protection of uh, uh, rights of our citizens for business and uh, real estate that they own in Ukraine. And that is also that also relates to investment sector, foreign investors. They uh, go only to countries where there is an efficient institute of uh, protection of uh, investments and the guarantees that the assets will not be stolen, that the state will give uh, the opportunity to uh, export uh, uh, the uh, revenues received from that, uh, profits received from that uh, investment. And the main uh, sphere which uh, is important for every investor is the confidence uh, that uh, the investment will be protected. 90% of positive uh, decision depends uh, exclusively on that factor, where the investor trusts. After the anti-Radish law uh, 1666 uh, uh, came into force, which was in November last year, the number of raiders, uh, raiderships in our country that were taking place after the 2nd uh, November uh, went down uh, tenfold, and uh, after the 2nd of November uh, went down tenfold, and the number of complaints is about 60 complaints that we received. Uh, out of them, only two complaints had the signs of readership. The first one was a complaint of the uh, people living in apartments in Kharkivsky uh, uh, district of Kiev, and the second one uh, that was uh, submitted by the citizens of the village uh, in Kharkiv region. We reacted to such complaints. We organized public meetings of our commission, and we uh, satisfied both complaints. We uh, canceled the access of a notary and the state uh, registrator to our registers. We passed all the materials to law enforcement bodies. The Ministry of Justice did everything to return what was stolen and to give a chance to our law enforcement bodies to uh, uh, make those people who are uh, really um, who who committed such a um, crime uh, to make them uh, responsible, because very often such things are happening via uh, falsifying uh, some documents or creating some legal documents which give. Uh, grounds to register something uh, as a property of someone else. Uh, and on the 2nd of November, when the law came to force, the main novelty there was introducing criminal responsibility of the notary or state registrator, the uh, person who um, is a choirer, and the organizer of that uh, uh, deal. And now the law enforcement bodies have the opportunity to make such people criminally responsible. And uh, now uh, when uh, there is some illegal seizure of business or assets, uh, first uh, you, uh, who you should uh, contact is the national police or law enforcement bodies. The second instance is the commission. If the readership takes place with the assistance of the notary or the state registrator, and then courts. 
And you know, once we are talking about number of uh, complaints uh, that we receive, we practically don't have any of them. Uh, we can uh, say uh, that the anti-ridership law is uh, in force and is uh, really uh, working, and we have almost overcome that phenomenon at the level of notaries and uh, the registrators. Uh, talking about notaries, I would like to thank most of the notaries for their loyalty to what they are doing, for their honesty, for their dignity, because most of them are professionals and they are honest. Unfortunately, there were some notaries who are not really very honest. They were called black notaries. Most of them have been deprived their license for the activity as a notary. Some of them uh, stopped uh, their activities uh, after the law uh, came into force. And they stopped illegal activities. But now we are watching carefully, observing the activities of notaries and state registrators thanks to this law. On the 2nd of November, the Ministry of Justice uh, received some additional functions of control and monitoring. And that means before the, before the 2nd of November, the only method of influence that the Ministry of Justice had uh, on uh, state uh, um, notaries and uh, on state registrators and notaries uh, because they were independent from the Ministry of Justice. The only influence we had when we received a complaint, um, the Ministry of Justice would receive a complaint on the actions of such notary or state registrator. Now it shouldn't be just the complaint, it could be just a submission from the main territorial department of justice on uh, any state registrator or notary. If there is an information about such a person, that uh, such a person is involved in two illegal activities, what could be the result of this control or monitoring? The Ministry of Justice monitors the activities of some notaries or uh, state registrators. And uh, if in the result of the monitoring, we find out that uh, and the notary or state registrator is involved in two not very legal activities, then the Ministry of Justice organizes chamber inspection. If in that result we find out that there is a violation, then the Ministry of Justice uh, provides this information to the um, interested uh, parties uh, uh, or persons so that they can prepare the complaint and submit it to the bodies of the Ministry of Justice. We also uh, continued the work of the working group. The main purpose of its activities is to improve our legislation to combat tradership and illegal transactions in the sphere of state registration. There was already the first meeting of the, the meeting of the working group. Unfortunately, we uh, did not receive any information on the changes that the society needs. Uh, there was one idea when a complaint comes to the commission to block the activities, uh, to block the register to introduce prohibition for registration actions. But I'm not sure that this idea, which is not very new, is worth uh, impl being implemented and the decision is made to conduct um, public discussions and to receive opinion on that from the professionals, from representatives of business and public, and if in the result of such discussion we find out that such a novelty is 
worth being implemented, then we will move to the level of uh, legislative drafting. We'll draft the law and uh, then we'll submit it to the parliament and the MPs will decide whether the law uh, is to be passed or not. The Ministry of Justice does not stop on what we have achieved. We continue to monitor the activities of the notaries and state registrators and we'll be doing all we can so that the persons who are to be blamed in readership are punished who are guilty in um, readership are uh, punished and uh, ba basically, well, that's all. Thank you for attention. And uh, now I'm pleased to give the floor to uh, Mr. Andrey Pomazanov, an MP. Mm, uh, good afternoon, dear colleagues. Thank you for inviting in me to this event. Special thanks to Mr. Pavlo Moros. Mm, we participate quite often in uh, uh, round tables uh, um, dealing with uh, such uh, uh, harmful phenomena for our country's uh, readership. And I agree with uh, Mr. Moros that readership should be totally eradicated in our country. As uh, members of the parliament last year, we had passed, uh, I think, uh, good uh, uh, anti-ridership uh, law. And uh, I um, think that uh, the one of the uh, best uh, uh, effects of this law um, uh, are as follows. Uh, the uh, biggest number of complaints uh, for raiders' uh, activities like uh, uh, conquering um, um, housing uh, companies, etc., uh, they uh, arrived quite often. Well, today we have considerably diminished the number of such uh, complaints. Uh, uh, nevertheless, I think that we should not uh, um, uh, stop and be satisfied with this result. We should work further to eliminate readership and eradicate readership from our society. Uh, quite often, uh, the, co the commission faces uh, uh, cases like 152 flats in uh, one of residential districts. Uh, then the land plot in uh, Kharkiv. Uh, and uh, maybe quite often people who come to, to us, uh, they do not even expect to have that big uh, effect. They were uh, even surprised when we uh, offered uh, some uh, remedies and uh, they were surprised with the verdicts of courts and uh, when we applied to the law enforcement on behalf of MPs and even the criminal uh, cases now are opened about readership of uh, flats and uh, land plots. We have to remember that the state should guarantee property right for all the citizens. That's why we continue um, to improve legislation and uh, cooperate with the Ministry of Justice in other areas. In more detail, I would like to mention that some time ago, we uh, provided rights uh, for registration of properties uh, to uh, a rather wide circle of uh, um, officials like notaries uh, uh, and uh, uh, 
uh, state administrators uh, and uh, non-state administrations. As of today, we have 120,000 such independent property registrators. Uh, but unfortunately, those who take the responsibility of the state registrators, uh, they quite often abuse uh, their um, uh, positions and uh, their roles. Uh, all such cases uh, should be investigated and punished. The notaries uh, carrying out the function of state registrators, uh, they have special licenses uh, and uh, uh, a the same time, simultaneously, they are administrators uh, of the uh, re state online register of uh, um, uh, properties, uh, but unfortunately, some uh, notaries abuse uh, these uh, rights. And uh, as uh, far and as far as I know, some notaries were deprived from their right to practice uh, the notary's function because of such illegal deeds. Uh, I think that very soon uh, this uh, will uh, bring the notaries to the idea that it is very. Uh, precious to them uh, to, to do safe things. Uh, I think that we are on the right path, I that uh, it will allow us to develop our state, to involve uh, potential investors willing to invest money into real estate, industrial uh, production development, etc. Now we are reforming uh, uh, this area of property rights to prevent raidership, and we in Parliament devote much attention to this issue. I think that one of the big novelties in the anti-raidership law is the introduction of criminal responsibility up to 10 years in prison for um, such uh, uh, unlawful actions. When the law comes into force, I think all the notaries uh, would think twice uh, uh, before uh, before doing illegal actions, before, for example, committing readership actions and uh, depriving a mother of three uh, from uh, the only flat that she has. So the uh, in uh, finally, I think we will reach the point where we will have ideal legislation. Uh, about uh, potential prevention of potential readership and that we will have an uh, um, uh, ideal situation with ensuring property rights, uh, which will uh, inevitably bring investors here. Pablo mentioned that recently we had a session of working group. Um, during that uh, uh, session of working group, we discussed uh, just uh, uh, the ideas that we already offered for the new draft law and uh, worked on improving uh, those uh, um, major provisions. And uh, I think the new legislation will eradicate readership and uh, thus the state will guarantee property rights. I invite uh, Deputy 
uh, uh, Director of State Registration Notary Department, Ministry of Justice, Mr. Andrei Dion. I would like to mention that this law is very efficient. One of the uh, objectives was to protect the ownership of property right, uh, and uh, I would like to draw attention of all state registrators that our, according to our legislation, the punishment uh, is uh, now criminal punishment, and the Ministry of Justice introducing the procedure for control will do everything for the violators to be punished. They will, um, the, the uh, information will be uh, submitted to the law enforcement bodies uh, as to the commission, the work of the commission. There are practically no complaints. The complaints that we receive are mostly on uh, the actions that took place before the 2nd of November, before the law came into force. But if the public has some uh, suggestions, please send to us and we'll work on them. Thank you. And now in detail about the role of uh, notaries, uh, Mr. Volodymyr Marchenko, President of the Notary Chamber of Ukraine. Uh, first of all, for us as for notary community, it is very important to consider such a thing as black notary. That's the term which doesn't exist in legal vocabulary. And uh, I would like to emphasize that it's not correct to use this jargon word when we are talking about the profession and we are not indicating the name, uh, then it concerns the whole profession. Uh, also, I would like to draw your attention to the fact that notaries are very um, decent people who are professionals. Uh, in 2015, 2016, when the notaries received the uh, possibility to register business, uh, the notary supported and the, the Ministry of Justice and its reforms and the state, and we hope that just like in 2013, uh, this support will be of high quality and very responsible. So the, what are the positive results? The simplification of the procedure of registration, enhancing the efficiency of functioning of state registers, making cheaper the actions in the sphere of state registration because we don't have any corruption component now. And I believe that the corruption component has been eradicated in the sphere of state notaries uh, registration. Uh, for further control over the quality work of the notaries, the notary chamber is to work in the next directions to uh, transfer from the Ministry of Justice to the notary chamber some of the functions. This will reduce the army of bureaucrats, will liquidate the influence on the notaries and the opportunities for corruption in the uh, bodies of justice. It's also worth uh, transferring responsibilities of the Congress of Notaries on approving the Professional Code of Ethics to the Chamber. This will lead to further standardization of the international experience to expand the uh, possibilities for the public to influence the activities of notaries. And third, uh, 
that is what we discussed is the possibility to include the representatives of the notary chamber into the committee which considers the complaints um, where we have uh, uh, submitted the amendments to the Ministry of Justice and we believe that uh, uh, the representatives of the National Chamber of Notaries is not just defending the professional interests of the notaries, but also the rights of the citizens. Interests of physical people. And there is, there are some suggestions which are to be included into raid anti raidership uh, actions to provide for more clear regulation of the documents, taking into account the experience of the commission. The commission has some. Форми і надання документів, і якщо це питання узагальнити і врегулювати, то ми за. So we need to work on prevention, not on sanctions or violations, but we need to work on prevention of violations. As to registration of business. The law establishes the norm on uh, notary certifying the signature. It would be logical if the notary who certifies the signature registers the title. Then we will give no chance for the raider to falsify the documents. Also, there should be a technical uh, we need to pay attention at software which needs to be updated. Thank you for attention. A comment. Thank you for your speech and idea. First, I would like to say that some ideas are really uh, very uh, feasible and uh, please submit them to our working group and we'll discuss them. The idea as to uh, combining uh, uh, within one uh, place the registration and notary certification is very uh, good one as to notaries there is very very important thing which hasn't been mentioned but i would like to emphasize uh, we received uh, the draft law the draft report from the world bank and they did the rating of uh, the countries uh, in uh, uh, protection of the property right for real estate and business. And this report has uh, recommendations. Those who were preparing the rating, they submitted, they, they gave us some recommendations and basically most of these recommendations have been implemented already. And as the state, we've done that uh, uh, un unexpectedly quickly because when we received the report as a draft report, at that moment, most of the recommendations were implemented because the entire anti-readership law 
became effective. That's a coincidence of circumstances, but basically what we were doing and what our MPs were doing in the Verkhovna Rada, everything was correct. But there was one recommendation which we have not implemented and we disagree that it is to be implemented. We are the only country in the world that gave to notaries the access to our registers and the possibility to directly having direct access to register and conduct registration actions. It's nowhere in the world this is happening, but only in our country. But we trust our notaries. We do everything together with the notary chamber, together with the business community, together with the public. We do everything so that the notary core is clean, notaries are honest and professional. And we will not deprive them of these uh, powers. And we continue to trust just as we do it now. Thank you for good words. Now, I would like to comment about what you mentioned about uniform roles, uh, about uniqueness. Uh, we are not unique uh, in terms of access in Denmark. They have. Uh, the um, uh, access, uh, but in Denmark they have uh, uh, very good registers. Uh, we, al we also explain that we have uh, good registers, but they are not uh, um, unified. The access is not unified yet. As for notaries and the issues which uh, arise in 2016, this was as follows. We have got access to primarily registration, which is not uh, as regulated as the registration in the secondary market when notaries have uh, full access to the primary um, assessment of all the documents. While with the primarily registration, the notaries can only just uh, um, register what is uh, given to him based on the uh, documentation which is provided to, to him. And uh, he can reject in registration of a deal only in case when there is the, uh, some documents uh, are not submitted, some documents are lacking. Mm. So, uh, quite uh, often, uh, uh, the, the major issue to prevent any fraud at this very stage when there is a primarily registration of documents. Uh, thank you. We have a good uh, aspect, the court practice, the case law. And I would like to give the floor to Ms. Olena Pertsova, who is representing both uh, the uh, legal, uh, legal community and the business community. The last year was marked by a huge number of uh, uh, raiderships of hostile mergers. And I would like to thank to the Ministry of Justice uh, for production and uh, passage of uh, uh, the law. What, uh, um, what, what have we seen? The draft law number, um, the, the draft law against the raidership had frightened uh, potential raiders and they immediately rushed uh, 
into ra raiders business and uh, there was a splash of raiders activity during the last year mm, uh, currently the law had come to force uh, but uh, um, i think uh, that uh, um, the quiet position as of uh, um, uh, uh, legis uh, the uh, legislative community, uh, it just proves uh, that the law was good uh, and is good. I think that verification of uh, uh, signature and uh, uh, closing the deal with one notary, the, this would be a good uh, provision. The notaries have been working with the new um, powers during just only one year, and uh, they uh, have a lot of questions. Quite often, they do not have experience. Quite often, they face uh, unusual, non-typical situations, and uh, they apply to the Ministry of Justice. Also, I would like to to comment in negative context, just uh, one aspect of the law implementation, the criminal responsibility for registrators and organizers of raidership. This idea is good, but what do we see as practitioners? The criminal cases are uh, uh, start but we never saw that the criminal case is submitted to court and the verdict is produced. I think that we have to encourage law enforcement agencies to work properly in this area. Quite often for law enforcers, it's uh, not easy to deal with the readership uh, case uh, because they are not experts in this area and people lose uh, time and then it's uh, very difficult to, to pursue justice. Uh, Maybe Mr. Maroz will develop uh, on the issue that the commission, which we mentioned today, has a purely administrative functions. It can re review decision of the state registrators, but when uh, about their decisions, but when it comes to the uh, doctored documents to the fraud, then they should be uh, uh, brought to the attention of a court. Uh, so we encourage people first to decide when there are violations of the registrator's mandate. Then the abuse of uh, registrators mandate, they, they should go to the commission. If there is uh, the case of fraud uh, or doctoring the documents, uh, then you should go to court. Thank you. Dear participants, do you have any comments? Dear colleagues, having heard uh, the latest Presentation, dear colleagues, uh, I, mm, as a former um, lawyer, I know how it's difficult to bring perpetrators to responsibility, and I know quite well how the law enforcers work. Of course, uh, strengthening uh, criminal responsibility for readership was aimed at uh, strengthening work of the law enforcers. The law enforcers uh, quite often uh, uh, know how to tack 
political perpetrators who deprive the people from their lawful property like uh, um, housing, like uh, uh, real estate uh, or other asset, assets. And uh, oh, we have to work with the law enforcers uh, um, in order to implement, to enforce this law uh, more consistently and more strongly. I personally submitted the MPs appeal to the Ministry of Justice about uh, uh, cases and investigations about raiderships which are now in the law enforcement agencies. Unfortunately, MPs uh, um, sometimes fail in their um, uh, approaches to the law enforcer. That's why I invite uh, civil society to step in and uh, to force uh, law enforcement agencies uh, to work um, more proactively. Do we have further questions? No further questions. Thank you. Then in this case, thank you very much for this event and see you next time.